This is the final video in our video series on how to take a calendar date and find what day of the week that calendar date fell on in history or in the future. So over the last few videos, we've unpacked the algorithm for how to do this. Uh, we've talked about year codes and month codes and day codes and how to combine them, um, how to account for changes in century, uh, leap years, the whole nine yards. And so we're pretty much done. No new material is going to be covered here. Uh, I just wanted to wrap up this video series with just a bunch of examples where we uh, work through them all. So if this is your first video joining us, most of this probably won't make any sense at all. So I'd encourage you to start back at the beginning and uh, learn the algorithm with us. Um, the, I've got four examples I'm going to do with you. Uh, the first one here, I'm actually going to write out a good bit. But then a couple we're going to try to do all mentally if we can. So uh, if you want to pause the video at any time and try it yourself and see if you get the same answer as me, then uh, then that's always a, a good idea too. So let's, let's start with this one. We'll actually write out uh, a good bit of the details for this one just to remind everybody what's going on here. All right, so August 10th, 1730, some date way long time ago in history. We want to know what, what day of the week this, you know, this happened to fall on. So as we said before, there's going to be a month code, a day code, and a year code that we can combine together to get the day of the week. Uh, by far, the, the most challenging of the three is going to be the year code. So let's start there. Um, so 1730, just temporarily, we're going to consider this as 2030. The uh, year code is always much easier to determine if you're in the 21st century in the year from 2000 to 2099. And then it's easy to adjust between centuries. So let's go with this for, for now. All right, 2030 is past our uh, small window from zero to 28. So we're gonna take the last two digits here, modulo 28. So whatever the year code for 2030 was, that'll be equivalent to the year 20, oh, or 2002, because you can subtract out 28 and get back in that, that smaller range there. All right, we'll compute his year code because it's much easier, and, uh, and then we have to make an adjustment for the century. So 2002, I have to find the immediately preceding leap year, which was 2000. 2000 had a year code of zero. Um, that's one of the ones we had memorized. And then 2002 is two years past that. So you're always gonna add um, n nothing if it is a leap year, one if it's one year after a leap year, or two or three if it's two or three years after a leap year. You would never add four because if, if you did, you would be at the next leap year anyways. So, so anyway, so yeah, we're gonna add two. All right, so that'll be the, the year code for 2030, that's two but now we have to make the adjustment for the century. Um, the 1900s, you add one, the 1800s, you add three, the 1700s, you add five. So we're gonna add five to this as a, an adjustment there. All right, the, uh, the day code, if you add a 10, remember you can take that modulo seven because every seven days you'll be back on the same day of the week again so whatever date the tenth fell on was the same day that the third fell on obviously um, so the day code uh, 10 modulo 7 would be 3 and then then you also need the month code that, those you just had to memorize and there were some mnemonic devices for every month August mnemonic was August is summer, it's hot, you're cooking out, you're grilling steaks and whatnot, and you use A1 steak sauce. So August is A1, so, so it's one, one is the month code. Okay, you add these up. Um, right, right away I see we've got a, a five and two, that makes seven. So you can wipe that off the board because this final sum is taken modulo seven. One and three makes four. And that's going to correspond to a day of the week. Zero Sunday, uh, Monday's one, Tuesday's two, Wednesday's three, Thursday's four. We had a, a little mnemonic for that. Um, Thursday, 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 they, they kind of sound similar. So August 10th, 1730 should have been on a Thursday. Um, obviously, you can check this online or with your smartphone or or whatever, but I'm, I'm fairly sure we did that correct. 
Okay, all right, now let's try to step it up a notch. Um, the next one, we're gonna try to do this completely in our head. So take a minute, pause the video or whatever. I'm gonna think about this one for a minute. I'm not gonna write anything down. Um, I'll tell you what, let's, let's do this. For this one, I'll talk out my logic. I'm not gonna write anything down, but this is what mentally goes through my mind. All right, 1996, uh, I'm gonna think of that as 2096. Now, 2096, there's a shortcut, because remember, 96 is divisible by 12. So I know this would be uh, equivalent to 2008, because um, uh, 8 times 12 is, is 96. But, um, but let's, let's not do it that way. Let's, let's do it the traditional way. Let's not use any shortcuts. We're going to take 96 uh, modulo uh, 28 to drop, drop it back down. So that'll be like subtracting the biggest multiple of 28 we can, which would be 84. So we would get uh, 12. And so the year code for 2012 is a, a 1. So that would be the normal year code. If you were in the 2000s, it would be a 1. But you have to make an adjustment because that's the 1900s, which means if you remember, you have to add 1 for the 1900s. So that's a 2. Okay, Let me just keep that in my mind. That was the tough one. So the year code is 2. Uh, 17 modulo 7 is 3. So um, 2 from before and 3 make 5. Uh, May's month code is 0. Um, Mayo was the mnemonic. Um, so 5 and 0 make uh, 5 still. So we're done. Um, final answer, May 17th, 1996 was a 5 day, a Friday. This was a Friday. Okay, and really that's what you're trying to do for a party trick or to tell your friends or, or whatnot. You're trying to do that mentally. Notice we didn't write anything down there. That was kind of slow because I was talking it out, but um, you can probably do it faster if you weren't talking so much. Okay, so let's try this one completely in our head. I'm going to do it and you do it too. Uh, you might be faster than I am, but we'll, we'll see if we come up with the, the same answers. All right, so September 11th. 2001, obviously a famous day in history. It's when the Twin Towers fell. Uh, a lot of people might just remember what day that was because you'll find that with a lot of major life events, JFK or the Twin Towers or whatever. Uh, remember where they were, what they were doing, and, and all that, that sort of thing. So anyway, try to do the algorithm and see if we can figure out what day of the week that was. So September 11th, uh, 2001. All right, I think that was a Tuesday. I think it was a Tuesday. Okay, how do I know that was a Tuesday? Let me jot a little bit down now that we're finished. 2001, that's an easy one. That's a one. Uh, it's one year after the year 2000. No adjustment necessary because it's in the 2000s already. Uh, 11 modulo 7 is 4. And the month code for September is also 4. Uh, the mnemonic was FALL, F-A-L-L, -L, which had four letters. 4 and 4 and 1 make 9, modulo 7 is 2, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. So that's what I did in my head, and hopefully you did the same thing. All right, um, let's wrap up with one last one. So hopefully you're feeling pretty good about this. Uh, if you're knocking these out of the park, then, uh, then you're doing awesome. You've got it down pat. All right, this is a tough one. I, I'm closing on a tough one. I'm not going to do this one in my head with you. We'll actually write it down because there's a, a little extra twist in this one. Okay, January 9th, 2144 in the future. So we're going to think of this guy temporarily as 2044. All right, uh, and then we'll make an adjustment. 2044, we have to knock it down, the 44, knock it down modulo 28, um, which would be, uh, what would that be, 16? All right, 16, six, 2016, the year code is 6, but we're, um, mm, let's see, nope, that's it, no adjustment necessary, it's, it's actually on a leap year. Okay, um, now we do have to make an adjustment though for the century, which means we have to add 5 to that answer. And then 9 modulo 7 is 2, and January's month code is 6. So we've got uh, 2 and 5 make 7. That's, um, that's a wash. Uh, modulo 7, 6 and 6 make 12. 12 modulo 7 is 5. Um, so this would be on a Friday 
as well. So anyways, uh, oh, we forgot something. It's not a Friday. It's not a Friday. What did we mess up? I forgot the reason I picked this example to begin with. Um, 2044 is a leap year. It's a leap year, right? Because it's a uh, multiple of four. 2044 was a leap year. So, so it was 2144. And if you remember, the little adjustment we had to make was um, days in January or February of leap years, the, um, the algorithm has uh, been adjusted for the majority of the year, but it's off for January and February by one day. So we, the month code for January or February in a leap year is one less than what it would normally be. So that's my mistake. So anyway, five and six make 11, modulo seven is four. So that's actually Thursday, Thursday, not Friday, All right? I almost tripped myself up there. So anyway, um, hopefully you enjoy that algorithm. It's uh, really nice to use uh, with a little bit of practice. You can do it in your head, no problem. So hope you enjoyed uh, this video series. And uh, if you made it to the end, uh, congratulations. Hopefully you learned something interesting.